Hello everybody. Today we are going to continue the lesson dividing polynomials with remainder theorem and factor theorem. But before this, I want to remind you something. From dividing numbers. If we have, for example, two numbers, 12 and 2, in where 12 divided by 2 equals 6. It's a very easy example to be understood by everybody. 12 represents the dividend. 2, it's the divisor. 6, it's the quotient. And in this question remainder, it is 0. As long remainder equals to 0, the conclusion is that 12 is divisible by 2. Also, it means that 2 is a factor of 12 and also 6, the quotient, is a factor of 12 too. Then we can write that 12 equals 2 times 6 or we can say 12 equals 6 times 2. If we would have twelve divided by five equals twelve, it's the dividend. Five, it's the divisor. Twelve divided by five, it is two. Remainder. So, 2 represents the quotient and in this case, remainder, it is equals to 2, which means it is not equals to 0. So, when remainder, it is not equals to 0, the conclusion is that 12, it is not Divisible by 5 and 5, it is not a factor of 12. So, the same idea, we are going to use it when dividend divisors, in place of them, we are going to find polynomials. And in the remainder theorem, as we said, we have two polynomials, p of x divided by d of x, in which p of x is the dividend, and d of x is the divisor. The quotient in division, let's say it's q of x, yes, if the remainder equals to 0, it means that p of x is divisible by d of x. And d of x is factor of p of x. If remainder it is not equals to 0, then p of x it is not divisible by d of x. And d of x is not a factor of p of x.
if the divisor, when we are working with polynomials, if the divisor, it is a linear polynomial, then to check if their remainder equals zero or not, we can use a method which is called the substitution method. So, if we have the P of X and the divisor is linear, then to check if the device, if x minus a, if divisor, it is a factor or the polynomial is divisible by v of x, we can use the synthetic substitution. The divisor given, we will make it equals to zero. And we solve for x. From here, x, it will be equals to a. And this value of x, we will substitute it in the dividend, the polynomial p of x. So instead of x, we will put a. If p of a equals to 0, the conclusion is that remainder, it is 0, and x minus a is a factor of p of x. And also we can say that p of x is divisible by x minus a. And if we know one factor, we can get the factors or we can factor the polynomial all. So let's try it. So, the polynomial p of x divided by, and we have to find if this polynomial is divisible or not by x minus 2, and we can use the remainder theorem as we said. We take separate x minus 2, we make it equals to 0, and we solve for x. From here, x equals to 2. The value for x2, we will substitute it into the polynomial. So, p of x, it will be p of 2 equals, instead of x, we put the 2. So it will be 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 1. And this equals 2 cubed, it is 8. Negative 2 times 2, it's 4 plus 1 equals to 5. So p of 2 equals to 5, in which 5 represents the remainder. when p of x is divided by x minus 2. So as you can see, we found the remainder without using the long division or the substitution division. Because the remainder, it is not equals to 0, it means that p of x, it is not divisible by x minus 2. So x minus 2, it is not a factor of p of x. So to check if the divisor, it is a factor of P of X in the factor theorem, we should find remainder zero. If this divisor, if the divisor, it is linear, we do not have to follow the long division as we said. We can just use the synthetic division, the synthetic substitution. So X minus four, we take it separate and make it zero. And from here, solve for X, X equals to four. The value for x, we will substitute it in p of x. So instead of p of x, x is 4, we will put p of 4 equals. Instead of x, we put the 4. It will be 2 times 4 to exponent 4 minus 5 times 4 cubed minus 12 times 4 square plus 4 minus 4. Simplify in here, and this equals 2 times 4 exponent 4. It equals 512 minus 5 times 4 exponent 3 equals 320 minus 
12 times 4 square equals 192. And this equals 512 minus 320 minus 122, it will be equals to 0. So we found that P of 4 equals to 0. The conclusion is that as long P of 4 is 0, it means that X minus 4 is a factor of p of x. So p of x, it is divisible by x minus 4. To find the other factor, now we have to take it, separate and divide. And as we did before, if the divisor it is linear, then we are going to use the synthetic division. x4, x3, x2, x1, x0. Under each one we put the coefficients to negative 5, negative 12, 1 and negative 4 divided by solve x minus 4, solve for x. So from here x equals to 4 and put it in the left side, bring the 2 down and 4 times 2, 8. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. 3 times 4, 12. Negative 12 plus 12, 0. 4 times 0, 4. 1 plus 4, it's 5. Where did I do mistake? 4 times 5, it's a 20. So this is 16. Remainder is not 0. Where did I do mistake? x4, x3, x2, x1. So 2, negative 5, negative 12, 1, and negative 4. 4 times 2, 8, 3. 4 times 3, 12, 0. 4 times 0, here I did mistake. Yes, I'm sorry. It happens. So 4 times 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. And 4 times 1 is 4, and here 0. Yes. So, remainder equals to 0. Then we can say that P of X divided by X minus 4 equals the quotient. It will be 2X cubed plus 3X squared plus 1. So, we can say that P of X equals x minus 4 times 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 1. Use the remainder theorem to find the remainder p of x divided by x plus 2. So then, because, first of all, I'm going to check if x plus 2, it is a factor of the given polynomial. And x plus 2 equals to 0, from which x equals to negative 2. And then p of negative 2, it will be equal, substitute, instead of x, put the negative 2, so it will be 2, negative 2 to exponent 4, plus negative 2 square, minus 10, negative 2, minus 1, equals negative 2 square, it will be 16, times 2, 32. Negative 2 square, plus 4, plus 20, and minus 1, which is not equals to 0. Then, we can say that x plus 2, it is not a factor of p of x, and the remainder, We'll get it from p of negative 2, 
which it will be 32 plus 4. plus 19, it will be equals to 55. So this expression here, it will be equals to 55, which is not equals to 0. So the remainder, it will be 55. Question 7. Is x plus 9 a factor of p of x? So first of all, we have to check if it is a factor or not. So I'm going to use the synthetic substitution x plus 9 equals to 0, from which x equals to negative 9. And then we'll substitute in p of x. It will be p of negative 9 equals negative 9 cubed plus 11 times negative 9 square plus 15 times negative 9 minus 27. And this equals, I will put it on the calculator, so it will be negative 9 exponent 3 plus 11 times 81 minus 15 times 9 and minus 27 and this equals to 0. So as long p of negative 9 it is equals to 0, the conclusion is that x plus 9 is factor for p of x and the remainder it is equals to zero. So we answer it the first question. Is it factor or not? Because it's a factor, they say write the polynomial as a product of two factors. So to find the other factor, we have to use the division. Because the divisor, it is linear, we are going to use the synthetic division. So x cubed, x squared, x1, x naught, under each one we put the coefficient 1, 11, 15, and negative 27, divided by, in the left corner, we put the x negative 9, the first term always bring it down, and negative 9 times 1 is negative 9, 11 minus 9, it is 2. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. 15 minus 18, negative 3. Negative 9, negative 3 is 27. So negative 27 plus 27, it is 0. Then we can say that P of X divided by X plus 9, uh, yes, X plus 9 equals the quotient, we'll take it from here, it will be 1x squared, which means x squared, plus 2x minus 3. So we can write that let me see, I'm going to write it here. P of x equals x plus 9, the divisor, times the quotient, it's just simple observation, the quotient we can factor it more, so negative 3 it came from 3 times negative 1, so we can write it x plus 9, times x plus 3, times x minus 1. In this way, we found it, the factors all, for p of x.
Question 13 on page 160. They say, when divided x cubed plus nx squared plus 4nx minus 6, when we will divide it by x plus 3, the remainder, it will be equals negative 48. So in this case, we have to find, the question is find the value of n. So as long as we know the remainder, we can use the remainder theorem. And the divisor, it is linear. We don't have to use the long division, even the synthetic division. So divisor make it equals to 0. And solve for x. From here, x equals to negative 3. This is P of x, in which instead of x, we will substitute with negative 3. So it will be P of negative 3. Remember, remember from the remainder theorem that the remainder, it will be the answer in P of A, in our case negative 3. And this is equals to negative 48. We substitute and we'll get instead of x negative 3, so negative 3 all cube plus n times negative 3 square plus 4 times n times negative 3 minus 6 equals to negative 48. Get it in the simplest form. Negative 3 cube is negative 27. 9, so plus 9n, negative 3, 4, it's minus 12n, minus 6, equals to negative 48. We obtained linear equation in variable n, get its simplest form, 9 minus 12, it's a negative 3n, negative 27 minus 6 is negative 33, equals to negative 48. Remove it on the other side, solve for n. So it will be negative 3n equals to negative 15, and then n equals to 5. Use the remainder theorem to evaluate each polynomial for the given value of x. So x is given negative 5. This is the polynomial to evaluate it means to find the value of the polynomial when x it is given so instead of x we will put the negative 5 and it will be negative 5 cube plus 9 times negative 5 square plus 3 times negative 5 neg minus 7 and equals Negative 5 cubed, it's negative 125, plus 9 times 25, minus 15, minus 7, equals 78. So f of negative 5 equals to 78. Is the given binomial a factor of the given polynomial? So binomial, it is a factor of the polynomial if and only if. So this is the polynomial. And let's say this is the binomial. The binomial, it is a factor of P of X if and only if P of A equals to 0. Yes? So then... The binomial given, it's x minus 3, make it equals to 0. From here, x equals to 3. We substitute 3 in the polynomial, so it will be p of 3 equals 8 times 3 cube minus 10 times 3 square plus 28 times 3 minus 16. If in simplest form it is 0, then it's a factor. If not, it is not. Let's see. 8 times 3 squared is 27 
minus 3 square 9 times 10 is 90 plus 28 times 3 minus 16 equals 194. So P of 3 equals 194, which is not equals to 0. The conclusion is that x minus 3 is not a factor. And the value of P of 3, the 194, represents the remainder. When P of x is divided by x minus 3. Thank you.